On the other side of things, a small variation that uh, Atlanta likes to do, as well as some other teams, but they're going to run in, uh, in Moira on first. There you go, Moira on first, one of the variations that we have seen for sure. We've also seen Genmu just wreck face yeah. with Farah, so a real threat. He knows how to play it on this map. It does look like, yeah, Dago was getting a bit ready to try and counter him there, but Jimmy remains intact and rockets he up. Yeah. He does kill himself. Ah, that's totally fine. They can rest that if they want as well. They're gonna clean up the rest of it. It doesn't really matter. And but they are just missing it now. Jinmu's back in the fight. He's got his barrage. If he wants it, Coalescence is there. Instant! Guess what? You can't shift out once you're coalescing. You're dead! Oh, then the knockup. Oh my god, they're all taking so much damage. You're trying to separate. You can separate people in these compositions. You can absolutely beat them. You know, the 3-3 composition is where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts, so if you can start dividing up these people with this, you know, disruption, heroes with concussion blast and everything like that, they're I'm just gonna I'm loving it. I am loving it. Self-destruct gonna get chucked in, and that's not gonna clip, so now it's all on to friend now. If he can actually do some damage here, he just needs to find the space. These mines last so long. You think that they're gonna be gone. They are not. There's some more Pharah Barrage Rockets for you. It is 16 to 2 in favor of eliminations for Chengdu. Oh Ren's a good McCree, yeah. but it's just, it's almost like too much. Because you need to be on alert for the Sombra, you need to have Flashbang for the Hammond. And then, by the way, you also still have to worry about this pocketed Mercy in the sky, or pocketed Far in the sky. Yeah, that's exactly it. Coalescence once again, Dogman shining the way for his demon once again, to Moose stuffs him. This is brutal. Jinmu connected with Rockets dead on. This guy can't be stopped. A little bit of a flyby there. Fair enough. Poco, pin, Poco pinned in the corner. And they did finally get another kill. KO goes down. Elsa's still into it though, and Mines are gonna cut the point in half. <laughs> Bye, Lucio. Oh man, I can tell why you love him so much, Hex. The Hunters are just awesome. Radar as well, I love both of these teams. How do you not enjoy watching a little different brand of Overwatch? There we go. But the composition from Chengdu just disrupts your group play and makes you all go in different directions. It brings the chaos to you. Yes. Oh, buddy. So, just rockets, rockets, more rockets. Hey, guess what's gonna happen? Could be getting the barrage over the top. Oh, Missed his movement there, though, and that's gonna cost Kyo his life. Curious to see if Jinmu is gonna be able to take advantage of this. Boosts up. He knows that Diva isn't gonna be able to threaten him, but his team is dead. They lost it. No, don't do it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> EMP Barrage is a completely valid ultimate combination. There's the EMP. Only, only one hack. One. Yeah, only catch Masa. Not ideal. They do get the follow up on Defran. Do it the old fashioned way, Defran. Oh, they got both supports. Yep, gonna get overwhelmed. And now things are gonna get hairy here for the rain on the point. Point blank rockets. Why not? Jinmu just throwing down. And the rain right now getting overwhelmed. Picked off one after another. It's, a, it's also really smart that. Uh, Chengdu added in the Ana rather than sitting on Zen, because Zen's just going to get dived in this composition. poco has been silenced in the back line. He did get his Primal off, but he is dropping low. Has to be careful. Boost is out right now. That's on Kyo Dako as well. And Dako oh! attacked! No denying it! jinmu has got the barrage! He's going to use it! Nothing there to stop him! He was going for Jinmu as well. You saw him try to go up. Drops like two tons of potatoes, does nothing. Get escorted off the point. 10 kill streak for the man in the sky. Can they get onto the point? Yes, they will be able to get Pokepo on there, but he's already dropped down to low and he's just nuked immediately. So you lose your main tank. Now can the rest of them do anything about the situation? Jinmu's getting focused by Defran, but the counter is here. We do lose the mercy for Hunters. That's a lot of healing that's getting picked up here as we lose the pharmacy combo. They are closed for business, but the rain, they don't get on the point. What are they doing? That's what Chengdu does to you. They get in your head. You're just thinking about chasing down the kills from five different angles, and you lose track of the objective. Well, Hunters once again occupying the high ground. The one thing that they have going for them, Hunters, is that you know, they pushed the rain to the limit. There's only there's less than two minutes on the clock now for the rain. They're going to be feeling the pressure now, and it's going to start mounting, especially as the grab goes off. Sound barrier there. Impeccable timing from Masa. Gets it down, but it doesn't save his life. The focus fire too good on the side of the Hunters. That's a massive shatter, though. Avon going into the wall, but they will have the follow-up on the side of the raid. Somehow, they turn it around. Uh, cleaning it up, there is the team. Kill Horn, everyone for the Hunters down. The Hunters don't have 
any support ultimates that can deny grab. So this grab should get value from Debran unless late, or unless Elsa can eat it. Oh, that's ridiculous. All right, well, now we're just going to get all the grabs, and this is going to be a bit of a one-sided affair. Oh, the charge. Sick plays. Poke Poke going to be on that payload so quickly now. Hunters are going to respawn. They have to be patient. But the rain not wasting a second. As soon as they knew the fight was on, they were done then. They were out of there. They invested a lot of ultimates, though. Amon, Elsa, and Jinmu have all. I imagine they're going to rally it's out. It's rally. Yeah, yeah, it's got to rally. Come on, Jinmu. Rally. There it is. Self destruct over the top from both of them. Amon goes up and no counter kill. Popo survives. That's not going to help things. Although losing Daco here could hurt the rain. Masa as well is a big deal. It's just tri tip for tap back and forth now. Both of these teams putting everything into the offense and defense. DeFran has once again got a grab online. He is outstripping Late Young by a country mile at this point, but he gets eaten. Elsa with the D Matrix ruins the party. Big play, defensive spawns are going to start coming into factory, but that is a big shatter, only two alive for the Hunters. Atlanta's gonna finish out Numbani. Wow. Oh, buddy, if they group up like this in the choke point, this is terrible, that's not where you wanna be. You're gonna eat rocket damage. So much damage. 70% already on the barrage. Jinmu, it's like Christmas come early for him. He's getting pressured out, but they lost Evil Tall. That's just terrible for them. No resurrection can be available. Almost no healing on the field now. Jinmu will die shortly after. Atlanta's gonna hold this. Nah, too much focus, too much focus on the fun. And you get distracted just like that. I'm going for the smash and grab, but he is gonna get rolled over by Erster. And yes, they will hold this, the raid. There is going to be a last second contest here from Late Young. Who can make it back in time? Eo with the post may be able to touch the point. But it's not going to meant, it's not meant to be. It's not going to happen. Evil Tall is going to get crushed. And we will have the end of that push from the Chunkoo Hunters. It is, uh, you know, I don't know, grass. It's very simple stuff right now coming in from both of these teams. But we'll see, you know, who comes out ahead? Ammon already down on the low ground. He's got the rest of his team backing them up as well. In the meantime, the rain trying to establish a foothold. You can see they don't have to get too far for the progress to net this win. Yeah, just trying to put some progress on the clock, but Chungdu's doing a good job of at least contesting this. They get collapsed on. Amon down first. That's bad. Oh. That's double bad. This might just be triple bad. Yeah, quadruple bad, quintuple bad. Where's the sex couple? Yeah, we're in super bad territory now, and Atlanta pulls it off on the offense. There we go. Really good identification of Chengdu is in a corner. If we collapse in this artificial choke, that's it. it Dude, this is actually, you know, it's like Christmas rolled into a birthday. You know, like you're always jealous of those kids whose birthdays on Christmas. And it's just like, I, I've never double been the jealous presents. of that. <laughs> <laughs> they get double the presents. Bacon Jack with an early kill on a dog, man. They're likely going to have to reset this offensive push. Torb is battling 1v1 down in the corner. That is a dead diva. Hey, there we go. Bacon Jack getting to flex a little bit right now. Oh, Ooh, buddy. Just saved his buddy down there, too. You know, peeling is often thought of as your tanks are back there blocking damage. You know, you can peel by just cracking people in the dome as well. Works. Definitely my approved uh, method. There's two people behind Chengdu now, and they know it. So it is a Sombra and a Tracer. They're going to try to find and isolate a single target. It's a it's a different kind of variation of what Dive used to do. Although they're not diving because they're already set up a position. This is great. The Infrasight's going to uh, show where this Sombra is. Exactly. She's no hiding bail. now. No hiding now. It's going to be tough for the Tracer and the Sombra. Urser and the friend in the back line to set up a trap. Because they're going to get seen coming a mile away. <laughs> Look at that. There's nowhere to hide. Uh, they know they can't even go out there. Now he's going to throw out the Venom Mine. If they do pop that, they will be revealed as well. Well, you're kind of hoping that somebody's going to be able to get onto Ooh, this. Jinmu got slept. <laughs> Jinmu slept out in the open. Focus fire and is there. The bio nade made all the difference. Yeah. He was getting pocketed, but that nade denies healing, and he is done. Slept and anti The Mercy got hacked, so there was no resurrection. They tried a Molten Core over there, maybe thinking that the resurrection could be able to come in, but... That's an ult we don't get to see every day. Trance, however, we do. And Kyo decides now's the time to use it. Another Sleep Dark connects with the target, but we will be able to get the uh, Orisa reestablished here behind the shield. Uh, Evil Tull's got to be careful. Debran gets uh, oh, wow. killed. Talk, like about, talk about perfect timing. Yeah, Jinmu is on his way back in. He's going to Barrage. He still lives through it. And yet to put any permanent progress on the board still, Atlanta, what is this fight? <laughs> What is this fight, Hex? What no, is going on here? What is going on? Okay, then. 
That fight was a microcosm of Atlanta versus Chengdu, and it was beautiful. <laughs> Well, 35 seconds left on the clock, and the rain are left scratching their heads, wondering what in blazes is this? Oh, it's a nice kill, though, on Akio. However, Jinmu just evens it up right away. They've had such a hard time getting in with any sort of help because the Fire Mercy has just been above them the entire time. Like, far above them, pushed way forward. Well, once again, they try to make their way through. Jinmu's working his way towards that barrage once again. 56%, Elsa again finds the kill, it's Defran as well! Oh, if anyone knows how to play against the turret, it should be Defran! This, <laughs> this is a disaster for the rain. They're losing their Zarya, and Elsa will get oh. overwhelmed, but two quick kills to follow it up. Dako will trade it with Bacon Jack, we lose that threat at least, but then Keo snuffs Dogman. Yeah. Back and forth, tit for tat, and somehow they're holding for now, the Hunters. Oh, the turret's still doing work, Elsa had. The Molten Core as well, that's why him dying was really brutal, but still not 33%. They're trying to get back on the points. Hammond in, Hammond out. This is unreal. It's actually gonna happen, burn it down, and now he doesn't make it in time. So close, Pogboda touching it, and he dies to the turn at the end. Oh man, brutal. A hard hold on the first point of Lunar. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, I don't think this is the type of play we're going to see in the playoffs because this has been awesome, and we've got a Bastion on the field. Why not? Bastion Widow defense, oh, cool. bunker defenses are legit on Assault maps, and they've always been kind of a staple of Horizon Lunar Colony. You also see this on Temple of Anubis. So, can Chengdu crack this? Jinmu immediately goes to the Genji, which is the proper pick against a Bastion in this situation. I'm Some teams it. have run a Reaper, and it makes everyone mad. <laughs> Right now, though. Oh, wait, what's the... All right, well, let's see. They need a single take of progress. And hey, you go ahead in there. Hammond just goes leaping through. Already we're getting Pogba out of the middle of nowhere. Defran finds two kills, though. He may be the difference maker here for his team. He got two, but that's why you run the Genji here is because you're able to isolate targets. You're able to isolate Narissa. The best defense against Narissa was always dive. Only need 33%, and Chengdu takes his map. Oh man, now you have to stay on this point. You're not allowed to leave! And this is it! The Hunters, they're gonna do it! Can they run back in time? It's not looking like it! The Rain are gonna make it! The Hunters blitz down the defense and they will take the lead in the series. Two to one over the Atlanta Rain. Well, Atlanta's best hope was a draw there, but not gonna happen. And guess who's moving way up to get super aggro? It's the Rain. Okay, then. Atlanta Rain deciding to just hold on this side well, of the bridge. Yeah, this this was very successful against this composition on Numbani after the spawns changed, right? So they know that this kind of comp is very good um, uh, against them in close quarters, in these small areas. They want to fight in controlled areas, but Jinmu is just peppered oh already. Dude. He's got the D.Va down. That's the only threat to him, too. Oh, man. This is brutal. It's one-sided. It's a heavyweight versus a featherweight right now, man. Jinmu is just going to town. Should be criminal. He's already got the barrage out. There it is. All the kills. Get out of the server. <laughs> Jinmu is a beast. I got nothing. <laughs> I'm just so, so happy. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun to watch. Let's go. Round two. What are you going to do with this guy? He's ruling the skies. Oh. Nice attempt, nice attempt, I like it. Oh, but there it is, point blank! He got hacked, he got hacked and deleted. Dogman is gonna use the Coalesce and try to keep his team alive. But it's so tough to win fights without your D.Va. Dude, does he not just hit straight rockets every time? It's almost they're like all direct hits. Yeah, this is What's not... What's going on here? Th this guy, this guy understands the phrase that splash damage is a crutch. <laughs> he is not using it at all. It's non-stop, it's non-stop. This is brutal, he's nearly at 30% direct. All right, then. First kill on to Chengdu. He will fall. They might just resurrect him, too. Up over the top here. Hey, surprise! There it is. The brand is gone. Hurst for two. Just like that, we're going to get a first point for the Hunters. All right, well, Payload currently chilling out right but uh, you know, needs to go around the bend to get to the second point. We'll see if it can manage. Jinmu right now is going to look to drop the pain. Point flight. There it is. I mean, guy, he got two. He got two out of the barrage. Good enough for him. Now the rest of the team have got to step up to the plate. 
Very likely a Resurrection trying to come in. They're going to zone it out with the Minefield, and now the Resurrection comes behind. That's the kind of weird coordination that you see with Chengdu, but that Minefield doesn't come down. They might not get the res. Nah, there's no free, there's no rest for the Wicked, Jinmu. I'm sorry. You know, you thought you got out, but they brought you back in, and it's going to be brutal. Let's go. Uh, this, this, this is looking, I mean, the Hunters are keeping it together. Despite all the craziness and my excitement, they are definitely doing work. <laughs> the slam and jam right on Devasa. Uh, the pile driver comes in, and now it's just two. Chengdu has to find focus here, though, because they're getting a lot of kills, and the progress hasn't quite been there. They will get to the checkpoint, add some time to their clock, 4.15 to finish it out. But they make changes, they're not as stubborn, they make changes at the right time. They need to just push and force out ultimates, and that's what they've done the last couple times they've made compositional switches. Oh, buddy. Oh, this isn't a thing of it. Bacon Jack, oh, dropping dangerously low. He's Focus fire is He's there. Good. He's got the bubble, and yep, sure enough, the friend will melt them. Really, I think they it. just eco push again. Exactly, like you said, you know, when you make that roster change, you got two minutes. You should be able to get ults online. You should be able to good fight, get a good fight out of it. Now it's a question of whether rain slip up. He puts some pressure on Dogman. Does he go for the grab? It looks like we're going to get a grab out of Defron, and uh, sure enough. I don't like it from Keo, but maybe they can turn it around. That's an all that I would like them just keep banking here. They're going to lose the fight anyway, and yeah, that one's over. If you're going to eco push, just pure eco push. Oh, uh, let me see here. What is. Uh, Bacon I mean, Jack has got I mean, Defron's almost got a grab on the line. And Ursa's well. going to have Rally again. Yeah, this is it. So, Rally to kick things off here. Jinmu, that's the one bringing it in. Trying to beef up his team. Shadow gets thrown out. Bacon Jack is here. Right into the thick of it. No fear in his eyes. Rain gonna try and put some there though as they wipe out the rest of his team. And that's it. The Hunters rebuffed once again. They're gonna get some staggers here too. The Diva stagger. She gets back to spawn. 20 seconds left. Get out. Did he get it? No, he lived. Oh, he lived. Damn. One more time, one more chance for Chengdu. They're gonna put a May into the field of all things. I don't really, uh, it's gonna be tough to even get in here. You're gonna get separated. Oh, no, they should be able to get in. They have alts. This oh ye, a little cool faith. Ball. Come on, Hex, I thought you had more faith in Jinmu than that. Man's gonna make it work. Look at this May, just going to work right now. The grab is in, he's just gonna go ahead and freeze everybody up. And guess what, no alts here. Well, just shut the door on him. Grab and self-destruct came out from Chengdu and got absolutely zero there. So that is where the payload will end. Very likely, barring a miracle. But it's Atlanta White on the left side of the kill feed. And if they finish a shot, Rialto, they're going to get some bonus overwatch. Indeed. When you got big shields to hide behind those, you can see a little bit of frustration here for Bacon Jack. And never mind! Spots Dogman for an instant and the man is dead. Sell him for parts. I have no idea how Evil Tall stayed alive there, but he did, which is so important. Not much healing else if Evil Tall goes down. So now they're just going to pepper away. The reason why you include Hanzo and Widow in this is because Hanzo can just crack down shields so quickly with Storm Arrow now. Exactly. You get that Rhine Shield out of the play. The problem is right now they need to get some kind of body on the point. It's making it a little bit of difficult. There is quite a bit of progress being made by the raid. Everyone's out yeah. there all by his lonesome, the and that's bunker, not going to be pleasant. The bunker has been busted. The bunker has been abused. The bunker was never really even used. It was the Orisa sitting alone. No one ever really yeah. could use that shield. Got knocked to the low ground in Atlanta, rolling through. And you can win on economics alone. They're going to have rally up, so they just rally and push. They force out a transcendence and self-destruct. Indeed they do. This is getting a bit chaotic, although we should be feeling comfortable with it by now. Sound barrier committed here as well by the rain. Really looking to end this fight. Ibotal will go down. Potential Orster getting some healing, and that just barely keeps him alive, and that will make the difference here. The Fran just gets to run amok here in the back line. Well, they're just winning this on pure value. It is value town to the max right here. They have to use a couple ultimates, but not all that many. However, because that fight went on for a while, and there was some good sustain, Chengdu is still in this. Uh, you were saying Hex. Because of how poorly that fight went. <laughs> <laughs> They're all gone. They're all gone. They tried to contest on the second point, and boy, was that an ugly sight. Uh, it did not work out really well. Big. This is bonkers. There's a snipe, if ever there was one. That's actually really important, because that diva was about to come back up. Yep. And that means that Bacon Jack now, at least he has a window not to have to worry about. Yeah, and that's why Daka was staying in that form. He's at 93% on self-destruct. There it is. There it is. Do they have the fall? There's the Maywall cutting them up. Two quick kills and making a wipe. Hunters 
Sick call there to make it happen. That was a win. Clean have, as could be. They have stabilized. And Bacon Jack is using his Graviton on one or two people every time, which is fine. It wins them the fight. Mm. And also, he doesn't seem entirely super comfortable on Zarya. So the last thing you want is to get zero value out of it with Daco eating it. So you see an opportunity where the Diva's not there, and you know she's not. Yeah. Take it. Get the value. Get the value. At least some of it instead of throwing it out. Jinmu. Johnny on the spot with the walls as well. Two and a half left. That's at least two pushes. Oh, they're so close now. This is where the Hunters have got their backs to the wall. Ults are starting to get even here. Self-destruct was thrown in by Elsa. Shields are up as well, and this is not quite working out the way of the Hunters. This could get nasty for him. Evil Tall is going to get overwhelmed. Trance is committed here by Keo, trying to keep his team up, and Pokemon. Arsner gets nuked. Pokepo hanging on by a thread somehow. He survives. They had the blizzard up. They only get one kill in it so far. The sound barrier counter engage. Oh man, this is where Defend just gets to go ahead. Nuke everybody. He's right on the edge. Point blank shots raining through. And there it is again. The follow up. And we are going to map five. Hex, the rain, keep their cool. And we'll just make sure that you look at the really big numbers at the top because that's where it's going to get important. That's what's gonna get crazy, is already we do have Defran's grab getting eaten and Defran gets deleted immediately. I mean, once your grab gets eaten, you might as well just give yourself up to the maw anyway. It's a shameful moment. Happens to the best of them and some nice late cleanup here. Yeah, trying to keep eyes on him. Oh, shots, shots. Everyone <laughs> just swinging away. There's a sound barrier committed. He might be thinking, this is an opening. This is my time to shine and throw down the shatter. Bring the hammer of justice this crashing into him. It's not great for Atlanta. They used a bunch of ultimates. The swing back had Chengdu using two and still winning that fight. They late trade out Divas and Zenyatta's. And they're going to have to wait and regroup. That both of the Lucios are now going for the taxi service. There was potentially a window there for the rain to push in. But because there, Lucio was in the back line, ferrying somebody in. It wasn't going to work out. Grab is thrown into the mix. We've got Trances going down as well as self destructs and all. The whole King Kabuto getting thrown into the mix. And it turns out it's a tasty cake for the Hunters. <laughs> Jinmu's actually been kind of a low key monster on this for key to this game. 10 limbs, five final blows. He seems to be the, the tip of the spear in every single one of these fights. Chengdu's gonna clean it up, playing 3 3 against Atlanta on downtown. This is gonna be demoralizing for the raid. Can they bounce back on the next point? Because now there's no chance of them winning the first one. It is the Hunters taking the lead 100% to 31%. Some healing pack right there, and now they're just gonna rally in. Go and this is a late young we haven't seen. Here we go. I mean, you've got 100 energy, just proceed to melt faces, shields, everything. Hey, there's a grab! And it's going to be the wipeout. Four kills, just like that for the Hunters. Feels like a bit of overkill, but I'm for it. They <laughs> ended up using Shatter and Grab in that fight, as well as Rally. So, Atlanta's keeping track of this. On paper, Atlanta should win this next fight. They've got several more important ultimates to work with, so it's just about the proper execution. 40% and counting up. Atlanta Reign now in control of the point, fighting for their lives here. Have to win this stage, and then Mecha Base as well. We're gonna have a clash of titans on the point. Shatter comes down, knocks down the diva, but the nice sound barrier response. Yeah, sound barrier matched by sound barrier. Now it's on the focus fire. Jimbo decides it's time to rally up as well. Get that armor going. Dogman's got the trance, and this is could get used immediately. No hesitation. That's still not enough to save Masa. He will go down immediately in this fight. Now there's gonna be the follow-up shatter. Late young looking at melt some faces. He's gonna do just that. Oh, it's a brutal beatdown. The hunters taking over the point. They've been using Transcendence in strange places, but now is no time to get cute. You have to use it on the defense. Oh, they're gonna just go charging right on through. There's the boost, there's the boom! Dogman into Fran! Gonna be picking him up in pieces. 80% now, and Chengdu is holding at the enemy's gates. Oh, the oh, unreal, late man. kill on Masa, and that's the guy you want to be alive so he can go touch the point. He will spawn 91%. Atlanta has to win this fight. They have to win it. They have to. This is it. Their stage is on the line. Hunters, they're not in the stage. They're not in the running. They're just here to ruin Atlanta's day. And all the fans cheer and form. They don't care. It's all about the W right now. Late Young dancing on the edges. He's going to be looking to hide this grab. Yep, sure enough. Right behind the pillar. Bring some in. Poke, poke. Taking a ride, and Late Young will find the kill on Masa in the mix. 
Hunters right now, they're uh, pulling ahead here. Eggs, it's three kills to nil. Sound barriers through with the Hunters, they're gonna do it. One after another, the rain are falling. Desperation time, but it's not gonna be enough. It's just Baby Diva. And the Hunters pull it off in our tiebreaker, beating a very, very successful.